Hello and welcome to another video on biology by perfect scores. So we've covered lots of topics like cells and biodiversity and chemicals of life and ecology. And this time we are going to start with a new topic which is a very major topic in all exams. And that topic is genetics. And it's one of my personal favorites because it is such an interesting topic. So this video is going to be an introduction of what is genetics and what are the common terms that we use in the field of genetics. And before we get started, don't forget to visit us at perfect-scores.com and to visit our Facebook page and to send us your valuable feedback. So well, we've already talked about the different kinds of organisms that are there, the eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Now, one major difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells is the way the nuclear material is arranged. So, in case of eukaryotic chromosomes, so let me put it down over here, the DNA, it is arranged in the form of nucleosomes. So, that is the first term that we are going to study in this video today. So nucleosome is nothing but a unit of DNA that is wrapped around a specific protein known as histone protein. So basically the nucleosome consists of the DNA and the histone. So you know that DNA is present in the form of a double helix and this is further wrapped around eight molecules of a protein so let me draw it like this so the DNA would be wrapped around like this all right and this unit is known as the nucleosome and this nucleosome is going to further give rise to chromatin so nucleosome is the unit in which DNA is stored and basically it helps to form beads in a string arrangement so this is one nucleosome and similarly you are going to have these so many nucleosomes and they will all be packed together and this is how the DNA is present in the form of chromatin so let me write down the definition here so that is the definition of a nucleosome and the basic structure of a nucleosome has DNA wrapped around the histone protein so remember this is for eukaryotes. In prokaryotic DNA, there is no protein around which DNA is wrapped and that is why in prokaryotes we say that the cells have naked DNA. That is what we mean by this word naked DNA. That means it's not wrapped around any protein. So let's go ahead and define some common terms that we'll be using in this field of genetics again and again. So the first important term is a gene. The gene is something that we use very commonly and you know what it means but what is the scientific definition? Now first of all it is a heritable factor that means it can pass on from parents to the offspring and what is the factor? It controls a specific characteristic. So it's a heritable factor that controls a specific characteristic and scientifically it consists of a length of DNA a length of DNA occupying a particular position on a chromosome and we call that position as the locus So for example, let's suppose this is a chromosome and let's suppose over here is a specific strand of the DNA and let's say this segment from here to here, this one is in charge of controlling a specific characteristic. So this segment of the DNA will be known as a gene. Now you might have watched videos on DNA replication, transcription and translation. So you would be knowing that a gene is responsible for coding for a polypeptide and that is how it brings its own characteristics into effect. 
So one gene gives rise to one polypeptide and that is how the function is carried on. So that is a gene. The next important thing that you need, especially for theoretical genetics, is an allele. Allele is one specific form of a gene. So let me write it down, one specific form of a gene. Differing from other alleles, differing from other alleles by one or a few bases only and occupying the same locus. as other alleles of the gene. Now the, the basic example, the most famous example that uh, students know about alleles and genes is about height of the pea plant. So usually when we talk about the tall and the dwarf plants, we say that the tall plants are represented like this. So that means the gene we are talking about controls the height of the plant and there are two alleles one is capital T one is capital T again so that means these are the tall alleles similarly there could be another plant with this configuration so the gene is again for height but the alleles are capital T and small d so when we discuss more and more about dominant alleles and recessive alleles it's going to become more and more clear so right now let's move on to the next word that you need to know and that is genome. Now genome is also an important word. It refers to whole of the genetic information of an organism. So whole of the genetic information of an organism. The next important thing is what is a gene mutation. So gene mutation as the name suggests any change in the nucleotide sequence of a section of the DNA that encodes for a particular feature. Alright, so that is what a gene mutation is. Any change in the nucleotide sequence of a section of the DNA that codes for a particular feature. So these were the few basic terms that are used in genetics a lot. And there are many more that we'll be uh, learning through the way. But that is all that we'll be discussing in this video. So you should know what is histone, what is a nucleosome, what's a gene, allele, a genome, and a gene mutation. And we'll be doing lots more about the field of genetics. So don't forget to visit us at perfect-scores.com to visit and like our page at Facebook. And just send your suggestions and feedback to perfectscores89 at gmail.com. So thank you so much for watching this video.